today I'm going to reveal eight types of items that you can sell on eBay right now to take advantage of the massive amount of money that is spent on eBay during the back to school season. What's up everyone, Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your own successful dropshipping store. And every August and September, we see millions of kids going back to school with a lot of new stuff, right? And where do they buy that stuff from? Well, hopefully they buy it from you if you know what to sell, which is what this video is all about. I'm actually going to show you items that do sell well during this time of year. And I know that because I've sold these items myself. And while there are probably going to be a lot of kids who don't go back to school this year because of all the schools remaining closed, they still need back to school supplies if they're learning from home. And we've seen a massive shift as more people have been shopping online. And studies have shown, research surveys have shown that people plan to continue to shop online even once they're able to go into stores. So in terms of online sales, I think for the back to school season, this is actually going to be the biggest year we've seen so far. Now I love selling trending holiday and seasonal items because people come onto eBay ready to spend a lot of money during those times of year and for those products. So it creates a huge opportunity for us sellers. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm actually going to show you eight items I've actually sold before on eBay during the back to school season. And then I'll show you a really easy way for you to find these items yourself in case you want to do some additional product research. So first up, we have backpacks. Did you know that a backpack is sold every single second? In fact, over 175 million of these are sold every single year. So especially during the back to school season, backpacks sell insanely well. Next up is something that's actually inside my backpack, and that would be notebooks, pens, pencils, folders, all these type of stationary items, writing utensils, even though it's the 21st century, they still use these in classrooms. You're gonna see a lot of them selling during this back to school season. And the great thing about them is that you can get, find pretty generic brands that you can easily sell on eBay. And not only do students buy these, but a lot of teachers buy them as well. Speaking of which, classroom supplies are also really, really popular this time of year. I'm not talking about things that students would buy, but specifically things that teachers would buy to stock their classroom. So everything from extra pens and paper, which we already talked about, glue, scissors, things like that. Also though, wall charts. You know, remember those lettering we used to see on the wall with the alphabet for the classroom to teach, things like that. Anything related to stocking a classroom full of those different items do really well. And for more specific examples, I'm gonna show those later in this video when I go over how you can actually do product research to help you discover some of these items for yourself. So the next items that I wanna talk about are clothing. Now, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of selling clothing, just like I'm not the biggest fan of wearing a sweatshirt when it's 82 degrees outside, but I do it for YouTube guys, so I'd appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up because I'm sweating here. Anyway, like I said, never had a huge amount of success selling clothing as a drop shipper, but we do sell some clothing. And I know a lot of you are thrifters, so these are definitely items you wanna look out for when you're going to thrift stores, getting ready for back to school sales. Two types of items do really well. First, sweatshirts. These are something I sell a lot of, probably because you can find a lot of generic, no brand types of sweatshirts like the ones I'm wearing right now. So you're not gonna have any Vero issues with that. Now the second item are sneakers. Sneakers, you do run into Vero issues quite often. So I'd really only recommend this if you're buying these items used from thrift stores. But if you're doing that, three brands to look out for are Nike, Crocs, and Adidas. They're great brands. Whoa, it is definitely way too hot out there to be wearing a sweatshirt. So I've come inside where it's a little bit cooler and I also have my lunch packed in a lunch box and I'm going to pull out my nice cold drink and just kind of cool off a little bit here. And speaking of which, lunch boxes are a really great thing to sell on eBay during back to school season. I actually have a little bit of a funny story about this because I used to always use brown paper bags for my lunches when I was in elementary and middle school. But one day what happened was I packed my lunch, I had a snack pack, I had my Lunchable, I had my yoo I felt like ready to go. I was like, you know, that's like the best meal for a kid in middle school. But it was a really humid day. 
So my Yuhu formed a lot of condensation, the paper bag got wet, and I was going into the cafeteria, I was swinging my brown paper bag, it ripped open, everything went flying out, and I turn around, I look on the wall, and it's literally Yuhu and a snack pack just smashed across the wall. And somehow, even though the room was full of other students and other teachers, I didn't hit anyone and no one even noticed, and I was way too embarrassed to say anything. So for the rest of the year, there was just this big smear on the wall of my snack pack, and I never told anyone about it. So definitely lunch boxes, far superior to brown paper bags. Anyway, the last bunch of items applied more to elementary and middle and high school students. So now let's make a jump and look at some items that are really great for students who are going off to college. First up, we have anything related to furniture that would fit in a small space. So anyone who's been to college before knows the dorm rooms are pretty small. Everything has to be miniaturized. And even though it comes with a lot of furniture, like a bed frame and usually a dresser and maybe a desk, there's a lot of other little furniture that people would like, like maybe a storage bin, under bed storage in order to you know keep their shoes and things like that, hangers for the closet. So anything related to that or even storage in the closet as well, those are going to do really well. Those are things that people like to buy before they go off to college for the first time. So very similar to that, but something that actually sells a lot better are any type of dorm room sized appliances. So things like mini fridges. Also things like microwaves. So really any type of small appliance like that is going to do well. I've also seen things like panini presses and grilled cheese makers, just those sort of things. Probably not allowed in most dorm rooms, but a lot of people buy them during this time of year anyway for the dorm rooms. And finally, we'll talk about bedding. When people go off to college, they always buy new bedding, especially because the beds in college dorm rooms are like a weird size. Look for anything that says a bed in a bag or twin XL. People only buy that if they are going into a dorm room or if they're weird and live in a camper van. All right, so I'm back at my desk in my camper van and I have my computer out because I wanna show you kind of a very simple way to do product research if you're trying to see more specifically what items you should be selling. So the first thing that I always look at are these announcements from eBay. They announce them to sellers to kind of give us a heads up of what sells well during different holidays or events like back to school shopping. So here on this one, this one shows you, hey, look, shoes do really well. Backpacks, consoles, toys, calculators. They have so much data, years and years of data that they've been able to look at and they want you to sell well. So they're literally revealing to you what items to sell here. Now, another thing I love to do is I love to come on to a different supplier's website like Walmart and just kind of look around on the homepage right as the season is starting. And they're going to put their most popular items right here on the homepage. So you see right at the top here, they have stuff here for college shopping. And here they have, let's see, AC units, because it's still summer. Uh, what else they got here? Uh, Skechers, they have shoes, because shoes do really well this time of year. Whole section here for college prep. School ready essentials right here. So you can kind of click through. This is one I was really drawn to, classroom essentials. I did some clicking around and got into this one. This is classroom essentials. And you know, look at all these items. I talked about teaching aids. These are gonna do really well. You can click on teaching aids and see like more specifically what it is that people would buy. So these rest mats for you know younger children, laminators, huge laminators, like teachers love laminating stuff. Uh, we have chalk, you know, gotta be careful with some of these brand names, but you can also find off-brand versions, poster boards, dry erase markers, dry erase boards, lots of great stuff in here. And all this is going to do really well. Look at these cute little chair back buddy pocket things. I know I've seen those in classrooms before. Globes. Let's go back to Walmart. Let's click on college, college stuff. So let's look at bedroom furniture under $99. That's going to do really well. So we see things like uh, headboard. It's not really dorm room stuff, but we see, you know, small night side table. You know, these chairs, like all these different kind of chairs that people like to put in their dorm rooms, all these do really well. 
Uh, what else do we got here? More of these chairs. Let's go back. Let's look at you know, light, lighting. Lighting in dorm rooms, also really popular. Um, so you can look around for some of these. And a mainstays LED swing light, 20 bucks. That's gonna do really well. Things like that. Different lighting here. Um, they have appliances here. Let's click on that. So what I'm trying to show you is that they, they put right front and center the things that do well. So, so these are the things you want to be looking out for, keeping an eye on. Here's a refrigerator like we talked about. Uh, what else? Yeah. So this isn't rocket science. This isn't something that you have to uh, make up. Literally, the information is given to you if you know where to look. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you did, I would appreciate you smashing that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Hey, if you want to learn even more about product research and you want more in-depth training for product research, I have a free YouTube video. Click it right here. You're going to find that one really, really valuable. I'll see you over there in just a couple of seconds. Are you recording? Yeah, let me see. <laughs> oh. And, oh. Jeez. Anyway, like I said, not the biggest fan of selling clothing. And now I gotta wait for the noise to stop while I'm sweating. This sucks.